What's up guys, Johnny Chase here and welcome back to the channel where I am today going to be doing a Q&A video. So I have a Discord, in case you guys didn't know, I'll have a link in the description below, uh, for my community over on my Twitch channel. Uh, it's basically a place where I have set up for voice calls, uh, but I have like different stuff for fun little stuff. If I find something stupid on the internet that I want to share or just have general discussions about like Star Trek or video games in general, uh, I have a bunch of there. So come on over and join. Uh, I also have a specific section for uh, subs to the Twitch channel where you can request games and we can have conversations over there as well. Uh, but I put up the call out for a couple weeks now for you guys to ask me some questions and I'm here to answer them. So you know that expression, let's get busy? Well, it's time to get busy consistently and thoroughly. Thumbs up if you get the reference. Uh, first comes from my boss, Woody Man. Favorite Letter Kenny episode? Okay, so Letterkenny is a show that's on Crave here in Canada. It's on Hulu in the States. Uh, it is 100% Canadian, and I absolutely love it. Uh, off the top of my head, some of my favorite episodes uh, were the Canada Gooses episode, where they went to the golf course and were fucking around with Coach. Uh, but I think my penultimate favorite episode is Fishing in Quebec. Uh, <laughs> because... Uh, the back and forth between you know the the letter candy crew and the quebec crew uh and there's just like tons of jokes unless you live in canada uh and you're familiar with other forms of canadian television there's a lot of stuff that will just fly over your head if you don't get that um i love the show in general but i think if i had to pick one episode that was my absolute favorite i'd say it's the the fishing and keyback episode mr tl wolves ask uh would you prefer a world where everything is made of cake or a world where everything is made of pie Cake over pie every single time. I, I, I don't like pie. Uh, Matthew Lewis asks, uh, favorite uh, guilty pleasure game slash movie? Uh, favorite guilty pleasure movie? Uh, I don't really know if you consider it guilty pleasure because a lot of people said that they don't find this a good movie, but my favorite guilty pleasure movie is The Wizard. Because we all know it's a 90 minute long Nintendo commercial uh, slowly to promote Super Mario Brothers 3. I still love it. It's it, I, I thought it was a great movie. I watched it as a ton as a kid. Uh, we rewatched it maybe a couple months ago. I think it still holds up. As far as Guilty Pleasure game, um, Asura's Wrath, I just recently played that not too long ago just because of how ridiculous the whole thing is. Uh, it's not a great game, uh, but it's very entertaining. Uh, Woody Man with a second question. If you had an itchy arm and you scratched it so much you broke the skin and from the womb you saw hundreds of eyeballs staring at you, what would you do? I would jump off a cliff. Also, I'm pretty... F I'm, I, I need to ask uh, Woody Man. Well, he asked this question, yet the most... This is one of the most disturbing questions I've ever been asked, yet you don't like horror games. Uh, link in the description to Woody Man playing Outlast. Matthew Lewis back again. Are you a tree? No, I am a meat popsicle. Short pause, Eric asks, why is French so hard for you to learn? It's not that I don't want to learn. <sighs> okay, it's not that I can't learn it. It's that I don't want to learn it. <laughs> For full disclosure, I live in New Brunswick in Canada, which is a bilingual province, which means uh, by law, everything has to have both languages. So if I buy, you know, a packet of ketchup, it's got to have the French uh, uh, wording on it as well. Now, here's the thing as well, is that we have a, what's called French immersion when you hit high school where you learn all the material like English history and math and all that but you're consistently speaking French and I tell you like I tried I almost failed like I was this close to having to repeat a grade because of French then the next semester I took English but then I just realized no it wasn't just uh, I couldn't figure out how to speak French I'm a lazy fuck and Matthew Lewis with one last question. What game slash system would you recommend for someone who's not into video games, but would like to play? Honestly, I would recommend the NES or SNES. If you can find the classic out there, uh, get that person into that. I think for the penultimate console to kind of experience this would be the Switch. 
because with the Switch Online, you've got the NES and the SNES app. Uh, to have them appreciate the older stuff. And there's such a wide variety of indie titles uh, and Nintendo titles. Plus the fact that like you can pull out any type of controller for that and it's easier. Melanie has a hard... My, my wife Melanie has a hard time grasping this current generation that's not the Switch because of all the buttons. She's primarily a PC player, so when you put a controller in her hand, she can't grasp the fact that like there's all these triggers and shoulder buttons and regular buttons and thumbsticks. Um, not the, no, the, the, the Switch already has that, but I find if you have the Switch, that's probably the best go-to console for someone new coming in to, uh, to try. Uh, and that's it for this round of, of a Q&A. Uh, I think next time I'm going to open it up to all my social media platforms. So links in the description below if you want to just follow me on Twitter and Instagram, uh, Twitch, uh, and on the Discord. I'll have the Discord in the description as well. So we can do a round two of this. So again, I have no outro. Just going to awkwardly stare at the camera for the next four minutes. See you next time.